Here's how to stop being average in a society that promotes being average. So if you've looked around lately, you know, it's pretty obvious that everything in our modern society here, at least in the United States, is geared at keeping people average or even below average, right? You know, it's, it's really unfortunate, but I think it's important for people to start talking about this so that we can take action and rectify it. So there's three key things I wanna talk about that are keeping people average. So the first is entitlement. Uh, most people feel that, you know, they're entitled to something because simply because they were born, right? You know, if you talk to a lot of people, you know, it's always somebody else's fault why that they don't have the results they want in life. You know, it's their parents' fault, it's the government's fault, it's their friend's fault. Um, but the reality is it's 100% your fault. So until you can start to take that little bit of accountability and realize that, you know, the world doesn't, doesn't owe you anything simply for being born, um, you're not gonna be able to get any results in life. And if you look around, and even with the people that you know, I can bet the people who are the most entitled have no no results. They live a, not a very good life. Um, so that's number one. And number two is your environment. And this is so important because your environment dictates a lot. But what's really important to know is you can't let your environment dictate the outcomes in your life. So for example, you know, a lot of people may have, uh, you know, an unsupportive family, unsupportive friends, right? They might have not the best possible living situation, right? There might be, you know, substances around there might be poor quality foods and until you can kind of take that accountability and understand that your environment doesn't dictate your outcome that you do and you're in control of what you know you put into your body what decisions you make um, you know you're gonna have a super tough time getting the results that you want because if you can't control your environment how do you expect to you know control how do you expect to be above average because most people they can't right they they get situation where you know let's say you're at work and this is a common one most people can relate to and all of a sudden pizza appears in the break room pizza or donuts and you know every you're tempted immediately it's almost instinctual hey i'm gonna grab a slice um just because it's here it's in my environment but until you can control that situation and make that conscious decision not to engage in a negative behavior like that how do you expect to become above average, right? If you look at any above average people, you know, who are have a position in their life that you want, you know, they're not doing stuff like that, right? They're able to control uh, themselves in any given environment. It doesn't matter what the environment is, they're able to control it. So that leads me to my point number three here. Oh wow, there's like a little tornado over there. Uh, hopefully the noise audio quality is decent. Point number three, is habits and this kind of ties back into the first but if you think about most people's habits who are average you know they're not very good they might wake up first thing they're going to do is check social media and if you're on social media and you know nowadays uh you, you realize most of the stuff on there is negative right it's designed to engage you it's designed to keep you uh engaged and the best way to do that is by feeding you something that you know upsets you or triggers you so that's a horrible way to start your day. You're already in a reactive state. You're already, uh, you know, in a contracting mindset. So that's, chances are, that's gonna lead to another poor decision shortly after that. And your habits, they're gonna make or break you, right? If you have good habits, you're gonna have everything you ever wanted and more. If you have bad habits, your life's not gonna be, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be super hard. So the only difference between somebody who has everything in their life that they want and the person who doesn't is what they do on a daily basis. And those habits, and that the easiest way to kind of break that down is every single time you choose to do something or choose not to do something, ask yourself, what is the outcome gonna be if I do this or don't do this? For instance, if you skip working out, if you skip going to the gym, what's gonna happen if you do that? One day, probably nothing. What happens if you skip the gym 30 days in a row? Well, you're not gonna have the physique you want, that's for sure. So ask yourself, what's gonna happen if I don't do this? Or what's gonna happen if I do do this, right? If you start, let's say you wanna start a business. Uh, if you work on your business every single day, you create a habit of working on your business. Sooner or later, you're probably gonna start making some money. So again, your habits are gonna be what make or break you. And average people have average habits. Uh, above average people, they have, they have above average habits. 
So next time you look around at the people around you, you know, ask yourself, try to even pick it out. Be like, is this person average or are they above average? You know, look at what, uh, what kind of house they live in. What kind of car do they drive? What, what's their physique look like? You know, are they happy? Do they have a good relationship with others? Simple stuff like that. And that to me is a good benchmark for, you know, the level of habits. Because if you have good habits, chances are most of those areas are, you know, in good condition. And if you have bad habits, well, the inverse is most likely the outcome. So guys, uh, that's my quick kind of video today on just like society and being average. Because if you look around lately, it's been pretty frustrating to me is I just feel like everything is designed to just keep you so average. Like walk through the grocery store, it's filled with freaking slop everywhere. Food that is not real food, just preservatives, seed oils and other garbage, low quality ingredients that are gonna keep you sick keep you sick so you can uh you know then go into the next stage of it which is you know the good old uh pharmaceuticals right if you look on the tv right you watch tv every other commercial is for some kind of crazy pharmaceutical right how about instead as a, as a society we address the root cause what's that why why do we need this stuff right we don't actually need it and that's not a profitable thing to say for these companies and stuff and people behind the scenes but once you realize that stuff is not here to do you any favors, you can start to eliminate it. And that key, self-awareness, is important. That's the very first step to all of this. And that ties back into that entitlement. That's why entitlement was number one. Because if you don't have the self-awareness to understand you're entitled, none of this other stuff will make any sense. So guys, I'm gonna be dropping videos like this uh, pretty much probably every single day, honestly. I'm gonna start doing this, stay accountable by saying that I'm gonna do it publicly. Um, cause I wasn't consistent with my content making. I want to step it up. I want to help people become the best possible version of themselves and fight this, uh, you know, craziness that we've got going on where it's just like, be average, be, be less than what you can be. And that shit's, that's not good, right? That's not what we want. Um, so this channel is dedicated to personal excellence, making money, getting into shape, you know, building a network of like-minded people. So if any of that stuff sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and I will see you next video.